All right. Um, before we get started, just a, uh, just a quick shout out to uh, um, this being 9-11, the 23rd year, um, to the victims of 9-11 and the first responders for sure. So um, our hats go off to those that sacrifice so we can do what we do here, you know. Um, the, the Bengals, we look forward to the challenge of, of playing the Bengals. They're, they're a heck of a football team. <clears throat> and, um, you know, we, we know we've got to have a good week of preparation. As far as the injuries go, really, we, the only person is uh, Hollywood is the, the only one that's um, banged up there. So uh, he's continuing to rehab and get himself up, but he won't be out there today. Uh, other than that, uh, time yours. Is there any indication that he would not play Sunday, or is it still to be proven? Yeah, not necessarily. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say that. As you, as you looked at the Bengals, uh, rough starting. There's some numbers out there with Zach, but they just don't do well early in the year. You put your finger on it. <clears throat> reason why that would be. I know you guys generally played them later in the year. Yeah, listen, they're a good football team. I mean, that's uh, they're very well coached. I mean, Zach does a great job. They do a great job on the defensive side and special teams. So um, right now, they're just trying to get their their guys back together um, that aren't that aren't uh, able to play. But they, we we know they're going to come in here and, and be ready to go. I don't know what's going on in the past or anything else, but I know. Every time we play each other, it's a it's a heck of a football game. Andy, you talk frequently about that, about getting the other teams' best shots and stuff. And in what ways do you notice that materialize during the game? Yeah, they well execution is the biggest one. That, that's normally what what you get and good aggressive play. I tell you guys that tempos are different uh, when you take each level in the playoffs. It's kind of a crazy deal. Um, when teams like this play each other, it's just a it's a different tempo, you know. I, for whatever reason, I, mean, I don't I don't know why, but that's a that's how it goes. Coach, you guys have the contract done with with Noah. <clears throat> right now, what does he need for both your present and then in the future, and wanted to get that done? Yeah, well, he's a good football player, and he does a lot for us. He's one of those guys that doesn't get a whole lot of credit for all that he does, but. Big time special teams player, great tight end. Um, we we do a bunch of double tight stuff. Plus he he's able to spot going and spot Kels, and he comes out of games with quite a few snaps um, because of the special teams. You know he's a four phase guy there, can do anything Dave needs him to do there, and is willing, and he loves being here. So um, and a great guy on top of all that. Andy, what stood out about Rasheed Rice when he watched this game? Yeah, he was more comfortable than he was last year, which makes sense, just having had the reps and the experience. <clears throat> uh, but the one thing that he does well is he catches it and he gets himself upfield. And he's a good, consistent catcher, works himself upfield, is tough, plays physical. Same time, he's a willing blocker to get in there and mix it up there. So he's really developing his whole his whole game in all areas, and um, you know he'll keep growing. But it's way smaller margin than he had to grow from beginning of last year. Last week, talking to Samaj, it seemed like he was a little wide-eyed getting here so fast. And having to get in. He said, "You get the sense the comfort might be a little bit better this week." Yeah, listen, he did a nice job for us, so I, I don't want to take anything away from him. He, he jumped in and had everything down and was able to play a few snaps for us. I mean, he's going to be familiar with half the half of the guys that are on this team, so he, he knows the the routine there So um, and a lot of the players. Coach, uh, week one passing offense around the league was kind of a – low standard for this current era and you kind of had a unique perspective to be able to sit back and watch it this week. Is there anything you can kind of put your finger on why, you know, some teams in the passing game just seem to struggle in the one? Yeah, that's a, that's a, it takes time for that to, to develop, I think, um, that part of the game. 
and a lot of variables that go into it just with execution as opposed to handing the ball off to somebody. So <clears throat> between the timing and knowing your receivers and then all these secondaries that the defenses throw at you. So it takes a little bit of time. Um, the time's been reduced uh, in areas. So, um, and then, you know, the, anyway, so that's where I see. Okay. Coach, with the, with the kind of game that Xavier had this early in his season last week, what can I do for him, you know, going on the rest of the season? Yeah, um, he did a nice job for us. Uh, again, he even his, with his size, he was willing to get in and mix it up in the run game part of it. But um, having the success he had, I think, is a positive for a young guy to get going. Um, are you guaranteed two touchdowns every game? Well, you know, that's not necessarily in the contract, but it, it, uh, um, it was great for him to get started that way. He knows that he can play at this level now, and if he had any questions, I, I didn't sense he had any questions, but if he did, those those are answered. We'll go last couple, Nate and then by Go ahead, Nate. Andy, you've mentioned a couple times before that even though they're different players, it's a similar injury for Hollywood to what Tyreek experienced in 2019. Um, he practiced that week, obviously, before playing. Just what did you need to see from him, and is there any way of – Using that experience, if Hollywood is, you know, on the yeah, it's field just, tomorrow or Friday. Yeah, they all set a little different. So I mean, it's something that has to move to get back into place. And they all set just a little different and and heal different, from what I understand. I'm not a physician by any means. So, um, so they're they're all just a bit different. I mean, you're talking just centimeters uh, of it being off can be a problem. So. Um, you want to make sure those things are, are healed in and that they're actually in the right spot. So, you know, we're having them see different people that are uh, experts at that. There's, there's not, I don't think there's a ton of data on it, especially in, in our field here, but, uh, football. But uh, that's, that's kind of what's going on. But as far as working hard and he feels good, he's, uh, you know, he feels, feels like he's in a pretty good spot. So it's not him that... that he would have been out there the last couple of weeks if he had a choice. <laughs> Not the best; it wouldn't be the best decision he made. But it's uh, you know you got to you got to trust the, the doctors here. Bye, Andy. Non-football, but just to circle back to where you started, I, how did you get the news on September 11th? And, and I just wonder what your you know strongest recollections of the day were. Well, I was back there. I mean, I was back in in. Philly at that time, and and so it was a little crazy around that area. I mean, you, I remember talking to Mike Sherman, who was at Green Bay. He called called and he was asking some questions about football, and he hadn't gotten the news mm -hmm. out there. So I said, "Hey, you might want to turn turn the TV on." There's a little bit of craziness going on in this area here. So, yeah, yeah. but I, that's how. Yeah, that's how I found out. Were you able to process it in real time, or I mean, it, 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 yeah, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure anybody could yeah. process it. Um, I think everybody just reacted, yeah. and it really seemed to be in a, a positive way. I mean, from the stories that you hear on how people came to the rescue, that's the good of mankind. You know, we see some negative things, and we have a tendency to harp on it. But that right there, man, that was a uh, you know, our country pulling together and working together, and we can do some pretty magnificent things when that happens. Okay, thanks, Coach. Thanks. Yeah, good.